everyone welcome to my channel electronics on wheels so thank you your support and keep liking subscribe and comment on this channel so that it can reach to the maximum people and get benefited by these videos so let's start with the wire selection i got many requests on wire selection that we need the information some factors on what basis we select the wire in the automotive or in aerospace as well uh, you go in any field that you will get few of these factors which are common to select the wire whether it is automotive commercial or aerospace so let's start with wire selection so how to select the wire in the automotive so there are some factor which we need to consider when we are selecting the wire or wire type so what are those factor we will discuss today uh, those factors so the first factor is maximum ambient temperature of the zone where you are selecting that wire or wire that wire is located on particular zone right so we have the passenger zone or we have the uh, engine compartment or passenger compartment or trunk so where that particular wire is coming based on that you have to select the wires so what does it matter for that particular zone so the the matter is which type of temperature class it is lying okay so i have already told you in previous videos that what type of temperature classes we have okay so based on the standard we can have a b c d these are the classes of temperature or one two three but the ranges of temperature would be same we will see in the next slide what are the again uh, the temperature classes but as of now if you are selecting for the engine compartment that particular wire then class three is the minimum which need to be considered when you are selecting that particular wire so we will see what is the class 3 and what is the temperature range if you know please comment in the uh, comment box so we will come to know that we have already gone through these classes temperature classes and i have told you not only the temperature classes i have told you the vibration classes as well there are some vibration classes uh, on which we also consider the connectors based on the vibration classes and i have told you about the shielded and non shielded connector as well on the classes so you please check those videos and you will come to know what are those classes so as of now you have to consider the maximum ambient temperature on which zone particular wire is located coming to the second one depends on the continuous current so in wire what is the continuous current is flowing through that so you know that continuous current if it is higher then there would be a temperature uh, increases on that wire and there is a chances of burning okay of that particular wire so we see this particular current continuous current so i, I will tell you the current type as well there are two types of current intermediate current and continuous current intermediate current are those current which rises or transient current on a is spike on spike you might be getting those continuous current but continuous sorry the transient current or ambient uh, intermediate current are those where you have for this uh, small period of time but continuous current are those currents which are for the longer period of time one particular amplitude remains same okay so we will discuss these things in detail when we will discuss about the short circuit conditions so depends on the continuous current in wire and ambient temperature when the current is flowing through the wire so as i told you already the ambient temperature why it uh, it affects that it is the same region that on which zone if your wire is uh, located then your heating effect will affect that particular wire so that's why we have to consider this continuous current and uh, this uh, i square t you might have seen this particular factor which is the heating factor in this particular uh, you know wire so here if i ask you that what is the minimum cross section based on this so this is the minimum cross section 0.5 mm square min minimum cross section which used in engine compartment based on the ambient temperature and the current so that your wire should not burn okay or your wire should not melt now coming to the third point that is voltage drop across the wire so as you know r is equals to rho l upon a and my voltage drop calculation will be dependent on this so suppose if your voltage drop is more okay if your voltage drop is more then what will happen 
that particular signal from one end to other end which you are sending from this point to this point suppose p1 and p2 then this particular signal will not reach or this particular device will not receive the exact signal if you have the uh, voltage drop more than one volt so this is the thumb rule i will just tell you the uh, need to check the functionality if voltage drop is affecting our device function the line is that that if voltage drop is more then your particular function will affect by this voltage drop so voltage drop across the wire at the end of device should not be more than one volt this is the thumb rule for the 12 volt system so if it is more than one volt then what will happen that your particular signal will be distorted at the end of device which will lead to that particular function will not be performed by that particular component or device so this is the meaning of voltage drop across the wire so you will see in all the oems this particular calculation happens and i will tell you the process also how we do the voltage drop across the wire we take all the factors into the consideration when we do the voltage drop across the wire and how much it should come it should always be less than 1 volt if i am talking about 12 volt system if i am talking about 24 volt system then you can take 2 volt okay so you have to consider if you are considering for 12 volt system that is for car then you have to consider at least that it should not be more than one volt if it is one greater than one volt then what will happen so v is equals to ir okay so how this wire csc will affect i will show you this calculation here so voltage drop suppose voltage drop depends on the r if my r is more if my r is more then voltage drop would be more right voltage drop related to our csc so v is equals to ir and r is equals to rho l upon a so if my voltage drop is my r is more then voltage drop would be more so ultimate what is my ultimate goal that i have to reduce my resistance and if i want to reduce my resistance then you can see by this form this syntax that my a, a is nothing but the cross section of that particular wire so if i increase this particular a if i increase the a then r will be reduced and if i my r will be reduced then my voltage drop would be also reduced so when you have the longer length of uh, wire okay so in that case what you have to do you have to reduce sorry reduce your resistance and this resistance will be reduced when you are increasing the cross section okay so this type of question will might be asked that if my wire length is more and my voltage drop is more than 1 volt 1 volt then what is the next step what you will do so what you will do in, you have to reduce the voltage drop then what you have to do you have to increase the cross section of that wire if cross section will be increases then my resistance will be reduced and my resistance will reduce then my voltage drop automatically will reduce so this is how our voltage drop will affect our cross section of the wire and on that basis we should uh, assign uh, our uh, cross section of that particular wire then coming to the check type of the current through the circuit so this is nothing but which i have already explained that whether this particular current is permanent current or intermediate current so intermediate current is nothing but where you have some spikes or transients in that particular uh, current okay so in that case what are the example of this particular uh, uh, where you can have this type of current where you have the motor and horn so this particular uh, loads also affect our cross section and we have to consider our peak current in that case that we will also discuss we will take one example of the particular wire size that for that particular uh, device or particular system suppose starting system and charging system how we are going to select that particular wire csa for uh, wire that is connected from battery to starter motor or battery to the charging system that is alternator your alternator so these are the factor which affects our wire type when we are selecting our wire we need to consider all these factors in the detail 
so this is uh, i'm just making it short only because they i have seen many people if in, even i am making 5 minutes of video they are not watching the full video they are just leaving in between 1 minute or 2 minutes so there is no point of making the long video so please understand all these four uh, points and then we will uh, uh, i will give you the next example of the uh, you know how to select the wires and what is the wire csa for that particular wire so let's move to the temperature classes as i told you that how i was discussing that temperature class for the engine the class 3 class 3 so for this class 3 suppose if i am taking the wire consideration that ambient temperature i have to consider for the class 3 and for class 3 as i told you for engine compartment the minimum wire cross section you have to assign 0.5 mm square okay so i hope you got my point what i am trying to say here by the temperature classes or ambient temperature and how it is affecting our wire selection then coming to the standards of wire then now the real picture is start that what type of wire we are having and how we are going to select those wire csa for those so like this is the awg that is american wire gauge where you will see 22 18 16 like this we can we can convert these values in 0.5 mm square or 0.35 mm square we have some formula we will see this thing in detail first we just understand what are the standards for the wires then we will go in detail then coming to the gist that is japanese industrial uh, standards and then we have jaso then that is also japanese automotive standard organization and we have there are some type of wires then av avs avx then cvx so these are the wire types which we will see in detail what type of wire is used for what type of condition what is the temperature range for that particular wire and what is the csa for that particular wire and we will understand that suppose if it is my flexibility flexible condition then with what type of wire i have to use here and what type of wire use uh, in some different way so i have not tell you the wire type in this there also there are some wire that ccbt ca pt i will tell you what what is the meaning of this these all wire are defined based on the temperature range and the flexibility of the wire suppose i have the i have to use the wire in the door and in door you know you have to you know open and close you have the dynamic motion in the door and you need the more flexibility you cannot put the hard wire in the door so that type of condition which type of wire you have to use we will understand in this standard of wire then fourth one comes in the din that is nothing but dusche industrial norms and in this there are two types of wire that is flryya and flryb in this also we have the different type of uh, temperature range and the flexibility so we will understand in detail that what type of wire you are going to use here and which one we you should use so but only one hint i am just giving you here that flr yb is the mostly used most used uh, wire in the industry now moving to the wire insulation so there are two type of insulation we have on wire which you see on wire so there are one is cross linked and other one is the pvc okay in the cross links we have the name like gxl xl txl and in pvc we have the gpt twp and hdt they are also defined on the temperature rating so suppose if you have the temperature rating suppose minus 40 to 125 then you are going to use the cross linked insulation on those and if you have the temperature range in the till 85 then you are going to use the pvc okay i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so suppose if you are using thin wall very common in engine compartment this type of gxl which uh, where you have the higher heat rating and this one is also for the engine compartment then there are different different in uh, you know the temperature range if you see the same but you have the different uh, you know type in that also gxl xl or txl so txl is nothing but extra thin smallest and light weight option then xl xl it is nothing but the standard wall and then you have the thin wall the first one then coming to the pvc this is used for gpt is used for the general circuit wiring 
then you have the TWP that is thin wall nothing but it is used for the general automotive application where you have uh, don't ask me where you can use this one I have already told you that there is a passenger compartment where you have this type of range minus 40 to 85 so this type of wire you can use in the passenger compartment but if I say to you that GPT can you use in engine compartment then your answer should be no because my temperature range lies in between this 125 or 105 then thick wall HDT used for the general circuit wiring so this is the overall structure of the wire types and we will understand the wire type this is we have seen the insulation on the wire we will see the type of wire like AV, AVS, AVVS and uh, uh, FLRYB, FLRYA so all these things we will understand in next video so if you want next video please comments on this video at least 100 comments if I get on this video I will come with the next video with more detail how to select the wire size for that particular wire but please share like comment uh, so that it can reach to maximum people.